Hi guys, so I'm going to solve end problem of chapter number 3 which is actually the 3.15 and in this example or the end problem we will learn how you can simplify the given boolean function with the don't care conditions. Alright, uh, so let's solve part uh, C and the function is having four variables A, B, C and D. And it has been represented as the summation of, of the mean terms, okay, that are 5, 6, 7, 12, 14. And the don't care conditions that you have been given for this function are for the variables A, B, C and D. And these are represented by the mean terms 3, 9, 11 and 15. Okay, our task is to simplify this boolean function using the k-map. Since four variables are involved in it, that's why I'll construct a four variable k-map quickly. Once you have constructed the k map, the next step is to place the ones in place of the mean terms where the function value is actually equal to 1. So, mean term 5, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, then 6 and 7 are 1. Then 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 and 14 are basically equal to 1. So, in this way, I have placed 1 in the or in the boxes where the mean terms are specified by the function. The next step is to place the don't care conditions in the k map. So you can see the third mean term actually represents the don't care condition. So I will place a cross in place of this don't care condition. So 0, 1, 2, 3 and then 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 and 15. So you can clearly see I have placed the cross signs where the don't care conditions are given. Now the task or the goal of the don't care conditions given with any boolean function is just to simplify the function. Okay, so we will try to merge them with the consecutive squares where we can maximally reduce the function expression so here i want to combine these four adjacent squares that's why i will include this don't care condition in it and in this way the function expression that i'll get f is equal to bc okay then you can see we can combine these two ones since this one cannot be merged with any other box and hence the expression will be a b and d complement all right now we are left with only this one this mean term can be combined with this or with the conjective one that is present and hence you will get the expression A complement B and then since C is varying from 0 to 1 that's why I will not write and you can write it as A complement B D. So this is the simplified expression of this function. Now let's do another example or another part of the end problem 3.15 that is actually D. Okay, so this was the part D where the function was given for the mean terms in this order. Obviously, this is some not in the ordered form, so but, but you can actually determine the mean terms uh, where you have to place one in the squares in the k-map. And similarly, I have also marked the don't care conditions with the cross sign. The next step is to combine the consecutive squares for the simplification of the function. Alright, so I'll prefer to combine these four consecutive squares and uh, the function expression for this can be written as C complement, D complement, fine. 
all right the next step is to cover or combine these four squares all right we can also do this like that or we can combine these four ones as well but when i will do that only this one will be covered but and when i will combine these corners uh, i'll get uh, it will cover actually two ones so that's why i'll prefer to combine these two these four adjacent squares all right or these corners basically and you will get the expression b complement and d complement for it fine the last term or the last mean term which is actually left can only be merged with this consecutive block or with this don't care condition because it cannot be combined with any other mean term that's why you will get the expression for this as a complement b and c so this is the simplified expression in terms of the mean terms thank you for watching